This is lesson eight, which is uh, dedicated to amines. And um, it's got sort of three parts to it. Uh, number one is sub we find out from section, what, 11.9 that amines don't undergo substitutions, funny, and they don't undergo eliminations. And then we learn about amines in substitutions and amines in eliminations, kind of funny. I mean, she just comes out and says it right, I think, in the title. They don't undergo these things, and then she tells us how they do. So, you know, I mean, she's not wrong, but it just seemed funny to me the way she, she said that. And then finally, I guess the last section is we're going to be talking about acid-base reactions of amines. So and I'm going to spend very little time on that just because it, it fits so nicely in the things we've done before. Let's talk about um, substitutions and eliminations real briefly. Recall, please... <clears throat> that these are all the main, most important players in substitutions. So in the simplest substitution reaction, let's talk about SN2, for example. We have a backside attack of a nucleophile, leaving group leaves, right? And then we get, if it's SN2, we get an inversion of configuration, nucleophile down here, and I, oftentimes when I'm drawing this, I won't even draw the leaving group, right? Because that's not the main point. Okay, that's a nucleophilic substitution. Eliminations are similar, <coughs> excuse me, in some ways, uh, but the the E2 reaction, for example, is going to take a, a base is going to come up, abstract a proton. Those electrons are going to become pi electrons, and the leaving group leaves. If this is E2, this is all concerted. Can you read that? Is that off screen? If this is E1. The, uh, I'm sorry, this is SN2, SN2. These are also concerted. In other words, these electron movements happen at the same time. And in E elimination, these all happen at the, at the same time. Okay, so <clears throat> she starts out 11.9. Is it 11.9? I don't have that in front of me. And saying that, the, that they don't undergo substitutions and don't undergo eliminations. So really, to be more precise, what uh, she means is that, and she spends a couple pages saying this, that the that this is a terrible leaving group. You answer me that. Why is NH2 a bad leaving group? She spent some time talking about it. And that, that needs to be obvious to you. Okay, I'm not suggesting it ought to be obvious at this moment, but it needs to be obvious soon. Why is NH2 a bad leaving group? But what she doesn't, so when she comes back and says that, that amines do undergo substitutions, rather, sorry, that they do undergo substitutions, what she means is that uh, let's say are that they can be they can do that right so they're bad leaving groups bad leaving groups but they're not bad nucleophiles so they really do undergo substitutions okay <clears throat> and then the last thing we'll say about oh, so I'm, I'm not going to say anything more about substitutions well I guess I'll say this that that you can get um, you can take I don't think she ever comes out in the book and says this. That plus NH3 is going to give you NH2CH3, NH2CH3, plus methyl iodide is going to give you NH. Okay? Look at that, what I've got here. That you can take ammonia and treat it with methyl iodide. And you get, and you get uh, methylamine. If you take methylamine and treat it with eth with uh, methyl iodide, you get dimethylamine. Can you get where I'm going with this? What if you do this? What are you gonna get? 
please pause the video and predict that. Okay? And then ultimately the end of that conversation is if you take ammonia and you treat it with excess, how do you spell excess? Excess, methyl iodide, what are you going to get? Okay? Think about that. Be ready to answer that on, on, uh, when we talk next. Okay, and then the last question that we have is, uh, or the last um, point is eliminations. And that is if you have If you have a, uh, a beta hydrogen and a quaternary ammonium, then you can get eliminations. And this is going to happen through a hydroxide. Okay. And I think I'm not going to give you, well, this is going to give you that, that right there, right? Um, plus, plus trimethylamine if that's a methyl. If that's a trimethyl quaternary ammonium salt. Okay, I don't think I'm going to give you any of the more ramifications of that. Um, we do we do have the issue of major. How do you spell major? M A J O I R. Major minor products. I think Bruce does a good job of explaining that, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through that in this video. And then the, I, I said that was the last thing. The last the last topic, which I'm really not gonna cover much, is the acid base. And if we take that plus an acid, we're going to get NH4 plus the conjugate base, right, of that acid. And the question is, which, ways, which um, way is this equilibrium going to lie? Is it going to be, is it going to lie toward the products or to the, toward the reactants? And I'd like you to tell me, towards products? More reactants and how can we know important question how do we know which way this lies